So, unruh goodbye with Graham McKay and Shuish Jinushen. A language that once faced extinction revived through the next generation of linguists. Back in 2009, the Manx language was classed as critically endangered. But through the combined work of the island's community, over 2,000 people are now challenging that view. And it's here at this primary school in St John's, where the children are taught exclusively in Manx, the only primary school in the world to do so. From maths to history, all subjects here are taught through the historic language. Adrian Kane has been speaking Manx for most of his life, and he believes it's an important part of education. It's good to see the kids, you know, enjoy it really, and see it as part of their identity as something that they think is important to them. So I think it develops their curiosity, their creativity, and the capacity to play with language, both Manx, English, and other ones. Today, the class have been practicing their writing, but for the pupils, communicating this way isn't just something taught in school, it's become part of their everyday lives. I speak a lot of Manx at like home, but what, sometimes like when there's words my parents don't understand that I've said in Manx, I'll like translate it into English for them. I probably speak English, but my favourite is definitely Manx. But learning the language hasn't come without criticism. Loads of people say that the Manx language it isn't real anymore. It's dead. They say it's like dead and they say no one ever speaks it. They say but it's just rubbish when it's not. And if someone said that in front of me, I'd get, I'd get very I'd, cross with them. I'd, I'd get, I'd get I'd quite say, sad. I, I'd say, actually, I can speak Manx and then start talking in Manx and they wouldn't be able to understand. This class will be taught in Manx up until the age of 11, before they'll move to secondary school, by which time most will be fluent Manx speakers, all starting in a school that prides itself in the local culture. And dare I say, I may have picked up a thing or two myself. Joshua Stokes, Nyack Fushed ITV, from St John's.